Texas. Oh, that's right. Uh, so Callie and I are going to look at tickets. I'm serious, dude. Come out to Vegas for that. So I got to hit up Matthias from Jägermeister. And like I said, I might do a couple of dates and play out and DJ out there. And I just Fuck don't. Fuck yeah, dude. And then we'll. So the same week is International Fight Week. So that's McGregor versus Poyer. I don't know if we'll be able to get tickets. They're, they're fighting again? Yeah. I didn't even know that. Tickets went on sale and they sold out in like 10 seconds. How long ago was this announced? So the fight was announced, I think, a month ago. I'll tell you this. Oh, if amazing. McGregor does not fucking win, he needs to quit. No, he's not going to quit. I mean, he can still make money, and that's the thing. Got beat by Poirier, right? so uh, yeah. Third yeah. yeah, he lost in the second round, but he beat, po- he beat po- Poirier emphatically when they were 145. Yeah, See, that's the thing. He fucks around with his way too much, man. I watched, it, I watched him in that um, uh, Nate Diaz fight. The second one. Yeah. I watched that again the other day on YouTube and it was it was interesting. Yeah, you know I mean he like McGregor won the fight on points. What the fuck he got tired? He gets tired. When he gets tired, you see it. Yeah. You know he, what I mean? He took it's the like, he took the third and fourth round off. Yeah, he got he just the first I tell you what, the first two rounds, he was fucking methodical. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was like he was just a different fucking level. And you're like, God damn. But then once he got fucking tired, he hung on. Yeah. And he won it. And he did win it. But those first two rounds, he looked fucking phenomenal. But then he, once he started getting tired, and fucking Diaz is a badass. He don't look like a badass. No. But uh, he can fucking take a punch, like, so well. And that's the thing. You're not going to knock Diaz out. No. I, I, oh, and I think, yeah, I think McGre- when McGregor was, was hitting him with hard shots and realized he wasn't putting him down, yeah. he was tired. So he just took, he took two rounds off. Yeah. I remember that fight really well. Um, he took two rounds off, and then in the fifth round was really when he put a, a stamp on everything. Yeah, it was a good fight. It, you could tell that he, I think that that was one that he actually fucking took seriously. I know every, they, they take them all seriously, but that one, it was, I, I think, you know, he realized, I got to fucking beat him. Yeah. If he beats me twice, my legacy is shit. Yeah. I have to be the fucking champion and beat him on this next one. I think they're going to do that one again eventually. I think they're going to instead they have to. Yeah, they did that. They did those two fights at 170. I think they'll do them again at 155. And I think doing it at 155, the the advantages to McGregor. Absolutely. Um, yeah. and I think he I think he wins that fight. But I want to see him fight Poyer again and see how he looks because I thought he looked flat footed. He looked tired. He looked worn down. The other side of that too is is that when it comes to McGregor, um, I think he needs to let. I think he needs to let his coaches lead his camp. Yeah. That this last camp they did, he was the one that put it together and he was running everything. I think you need someone that's on your that ass. That needs to tell you shit and know yeah. shit. Yeah. Instead- because he's got to fight this guy different. I, I mean, he was saying, you know, the, the calf, the, the, the uh, kicks on his calf muscle on the back of his leg. He was, you know, he, he was like, dude, I, he said, I fucking couldn't feel my leg after, you know. That I muscle couldn't... seizes up. Yeah. It's fucking painful. So he's got to kind of fucking change everything to adapt to that. Those are know? hard. Those are hard to read because they're so low. Like yeah. if so from a Muay Thai sense, you, if you see someone kick and you see it's low, you you know, it's either going to the leg or it's going to the body. So right. you can lift the leg up to try and check it or you bring yeah. your arm down, to try and cover for the body. But I mean, there's guys that are like sneaky, like Wonder Boy Thompson, where he can just he'll throw a question mark kick. He'll look like he, he'll set you up, where he keeps going leg, 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 and then he stops and he just just goes right up the side of your body, just wallop, yeah, right on the side of the neck. Huh. But yeah, those those calf kicks are so hard to see because they're so fucking low, yeah, um, and they're hard to defend. And it, and even if even if it doesn't hit the calf, if it hits the ankle, that shit fucking it's still gonna hurts. fucking hurt. It hurts. Yeah. It hurts so fucking bad. It, it will be interesting to see like how he overcomes that if he can. You know what his strategy will be for that. I, you know, I mean, I I think it could be a good fight. Yeah. But I also think that, and I was a fan of McGregor. I, I really was. But I think he's on the you know he's on the downside of up now. You know, he's still a badass. He's still a billionaire. Yeah. At, at the end yeah, of the day, that's well, what I was say. he doesn't seem to care, anyways. It's like, yeah, hey, he, drink my whiskey, bitches. Yeah. Like, I'm not. But he's gonna win big. He's gonna do a couple of fucking big ass wins against people that are fucking worth something. I you know, not people fights. on the way out, or not people that on that. No, I mean, knock a badass motherfucker out, and then, you know, yeah. you're back. Yeah, I respect the fact that like taking Poirier the fucking second or maybe first in the world, right? In terms of that way, he was the number one contender for the title at the time. Is he gonna fight for the title? Or is no, he so keep that's fighting so that's gonna be uh, which is also respectable. That's gonna be Charles Oliveira and um, 
Michael Chandler. They're going to be fighting yeah. for the 155 title. So there was an option that Poyer had. He could either fight for the belt, and I think he would have fought Chandler, or the either the winner of the uh, Chandler Oliveira fight, or he would have fought one of those two guys for the title. Or he had the option to fight McGregor, and he took the option to fight McGregor. To that's money. fucking cool. You yeah. know what I mean? And and that's what I respect about McGregor too. He's like you said, he's on his way out, but he's still fighting Mayweather in, in boxing. It's a totally different sport. Oh, he ain't scared. He's fighting. He yeah, scared. he'll he'll take a fight. I mean, anybody who was afraid of their legacy wouldn't take another Poirier fight, right? Because that dude's still at the top yeah. of his fucking. Well, the the tough part for but McGregor, he still takes it. For the, the tough part about McGregor is the fact that he fought the uh, the Mayweather fight, and then he fought Diaz, and then he just he took a bunch of time off. And it's not like the UFC were like, "Hey, you're gonna get a tune up fight." They gave him Cowboy Cerrone, yeah. who at the time was just fucking guys up, and he made him look like he didn't belong in the top five whatsoever. And then he had another year off again because mm-hmm. of COVID and shit because like that. And then you come out, and your first your first fucking fight is you're gonna fight the number one contender for the title. Yeah, like that's he shouldn't have taken that. Well, well it's kind of cool that he did. But right? I mean, that's that's the thing is that you know he's not he's not trying to fight anyone below him. He's literally just going. He's aiming at the top one percent of whether it's the fifty five or seventy division, and just going. Ah, let's see what fucking happens. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, kudos to him for even having the balls. Because a lot of yeah, a lot of guys, a lot of guys will duck those fights, and they'll just be like, "Floyd Mayweather." Yeah. yeah. Fucking last fifteen fights he fucking had was a dodge. Easy. Uh, yeah. He's one of the hard. See, the in boxing, he's fights. dude. He's the hardest guy to fucking hit, and then he's supposed to be fighting he's the hardest guy to get a fight with as well. Sugar, <laughs> Shane, Sugar Shane Mosley was his last really good fight, and then everything after that was yeah. I'm done. I just want to make. Yeah, I mean, defensive. I, you know what? What a lot of people never fucking realized about Floyd. Everyone said, you know, he's a defensive boxer. Right, we get it, and he was, and he was fucking great at it. He also had one hell of a fucking chin. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like he never got hit. There were fucking times that he got racked, and this motherfucker didn't. It didn't even phase him. Yeah. And I think a lot of people didn't understand that. That like, you know, if you're a boxer, you're gonna get fucking hit. And there's a lot of fights that he get walloped. But he just had a great fucking chin. And boom, and then he'd defend on it. And and like a lot of people don't understand that. That he could take a fucking punch, man. Yeah. The only time I t- saw him get like rocked bad was uh that fucking Argentinian uh, Madonna. Um fuck, I can't remember his name. I should have pulled this up. But he it was at the end of it was, at, it was like end of seventh round or something. This fucking dude smacks him and the bell goes. And his leg, like you see fucking Mayweather's leg, like go this way and it should have gone that way. You're like, oh fuck, man. He just like got through on him. But he, yeah, he still ended up winning the fucking fight. But he had a, Mayweather had a fucking great chin. And he nobody. Th- Alvarez, right? It was like his second to last fight. Yeah. I mean, that guy, I, I, we all thought he was going to be the best fighter in history and he still got beat. You know? Yeah. Well. Uh, Maidana, yeah, the Argentinian Marcus. Maidana, that was. Well, I think he fought him twice. Didn't yeah, he, he did. Uh, and then on the, the first one is where he got fucking clocked. I, I I'm not sure if it was the seventh, but it was around then. It was right at the end of the fucking bell, and he got hit, and you saw that he was hurt. But you know, they both had their hands down, but you, but you saw his leg go that way, and I was like, yeah. fuck me, I'd never seen that before. Yeah, yeah, you know, his but leg then, stiffened up. Yeah, after that, he was fine, you know, but that Argentinian guy, he was a fucking hard bastard, man, like... You know, you look at who he fought, he fought Cotto, he fought Alvarez before that, fought Mosley, like, he's got a who's who, he fought fucking, dude, he fought De La Hoya on Cinco de Mayo, I remember that one, dude. <laughs> Like who the fuck and like he I think he came out with a sombrero and shit like that. <laughs> it's just that shit was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's fought he's fought everybody, man. God damn. He's supposed to be fighting uh not Jake Paul. I think Logan Paul is the other one. So the uh so my I don't even know if he still trains at our gym or not, because he didn't train at our gym for this fight. He just had guys come in and, and work with him. Ben Askren's fighting Jake Paul tonight. And I think Logan Paul is supposed to be fighting uh, Mayweather, but I don't know when the hell that fight's supposed to happen. Maybe, yeah. I mean, honestly, if I were Mayweather, I'd be like, nah, fuck it, I'm done, yeah, dude. Yeah, 50's such a nice, even number. Just leave. Yeah. 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 I mean, and what's he got to prove, man? 
Well, he went over. That was the weird thing too. He like he went over to Japan and did an MMA match, but it was like no kicking. And then like he fought, he fought a kickboxer who was insanely tough. And he was just like, yeah, you can't kick or anything like that. And it was supposed to be like an MMA fight. Right. And he fought, he knocked him out in like the second round and yeah, shit like that. You can't... I don't know. I mean, he's he's, play a different sport. Yeah. he's getting old. I mean, I don't know. maybe he's fucking bored. Maybe I mean, here's the thing, man. If someone's paying you, fuck it. In the amount of money they pay him to to show up, there was. I mean, there was a point where he was the highest paid athlete for like I think four or five years in a row yeah. by like like six hundred percent. Yeah, like second place was but, like but Tiger here's the thing, Woods. Though. Here, yeah, here's Tiger the thing, and Tiger Tiger Woods is making like a hundred million a year, yeah. and Mayweather is making three times his money. Yeah. But, but here's the thing, though, right? To have that 50 and 0 record in boxing that's been around so fucking long, and there's so many greats and so many fucking stories, and like, and and to be the only motherfucker to do that, to walk away from that, and you risk it now as you as you're on your way out yeah 51 why why 50 fucking don't one do it. walk don't away do it. you dude. had 50 and oh yeah Just, do you know how sexy 50 and oh sounds why would you make it 50 and one yeah like it fucks it all up yeah you know it, the amount of money it would take i mean that's I, you, you're fucking dollars. stupid if you're yeah. gonna yeah i would be like, like if they told me if they said me you're 50 and oh we'll give you 10 million to fire retard one arm, <laughs> right? Uh, I still got no. Why? In case he's got fucking retard strength and he beats me up, but <laughs> knocks me the fuck out, exactly. whatever, dude. I want to keep my record, man. <laughs> he's blind. I don't give a fuck. I'm not doing it. No, fifty and fucking oh in boxing. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Call it a day. Nobody should. Yeah. He's learn how to read. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. He's like, you don't want to take that 50 challenge? Or he's like, I'll give you a quarter million dollars if you can read one page of a Harry Potter book. That was the most cold-blooded shit. 50 Cent, right? Yeah. It was Curtis Jackson that said that. That's so rude. That was the most cold-blooded You take all that money. He's like, I'll give you a quarter million if you can read one page of a Harry Potter book. 